The final test is a three wire ground stake or earth electrode resistance test. As you can see, we've got our RE test range selected. In the top of the unit, there is a standard three wire ground stake simulator connected via our three wires. The earth rod is on the green, a potential probe on the yellow, and a current probe on the red. So we can now start the test. In the event of having a high resistance on the potential or current spikes, the unit will indicate this to you and stop the test. You can see on our simulated earth that there is a reading of 24.7 ohms. This assumes we are testing a system with an unconnected earth electrode. If you don't want to disconnect the installation, or it is not practical to remove the protective earth, as this could be dangerous and will require isolating and locking off the supply, you can select the ART or attached rod technique. Place the potential and current spike as normal and clip the green lead to the earth electrode under test while placing the optional eye clamp around the electrode. The tester then measures the proportion of the current passing through the earth electrode and calculates the resistance between the electrode and the ground. The last earth electrode test method the meter offers is stakeless testing using the optional eye clamp and V clamp. This method should only be employed if there is a good knowledge of the earthing system and the installation includes multiple electrodes. The V-clamp induces a known voltage in the loop and the current is measured by the I-clamp. The loop resistance is then calculated and displayed.